Alrighty y'all, so today we're going to talk about an aluminum splitting wedge prototype that I made. This one is made out of 775 aluminum, which is a little bit harder than your typical 6061 aluminum. And I'll show you guys a size comparison real quick. This is a 5 pound Harbor Freight wedge. You can see that the aluminum wedge is longer. It's also wider this way. It's also thicker at the back too. So if this were steel, this would easily be a six pound wedge, maybe a seven, but because it's aluminum, it's only two pounds, six ounces. So a little under two and a half pounds, bigger than this one, but less than half the weight, which is really impressive. So I tested this one out for maybe a half hour to 40 minutes. I split a piece of elm, a few uh, pieces of ash, and I, this one piece of uh, pine that was pretty much a whole bunch of those limbs all uh, in a bundle. It was very difficult to split, but I did get to put some use on it. And I'll show you guys the damage so far. We got a little bit of mushrooming there, a little bit there, some there, not really any there. But this doesn't worry me too much because uh, this is pretty much from hitting the edge and not really the top. As you can see there, I hit the edge a lot of times here, which is why it's so mushroomed out. And with this splitting wedge, you know, or pretty much any of the newer splitting wedges, the hard ones are, uh, the vintage ones are really hard, so they'll chip out rather than mushroom. These ones, if you hit the edge, it'll, you know, sometimes chip out if you hit a corner, but oftentimes it'll just mushroom out. So even a regular splitting wedge will mushroom out when you hit the edge. I would say this one was probably almost as hard as these newer splitting wedges, uh, because this one, when I first got it, I was putting some, uh, what I thought were decent dents in the back from using the splitting mall and the steel seemed pretty soft to me but then it seemed to as I used it more and got more wear on it it seemed to plateau and get harder so I would say this one is probably almost as hard maybe maybe as hard as these ones overall holding up pretty good for what I was expecting and another advantage of it is the striking face is really big so this twisted wedge, uh, in my experience, this is like the, this wedge has the widest striking face of any wedge that I've tried before. And you can see just how big the striking face is on the aluminum wedge, which is nice. You know, if you get tired and sloppy, you just aren't as accurate. That's really nice to have. So overall, I was pretty impressed with the performance. Held up pretty decent. I did get like a little bend uh, there. I'm not sure if it came out of the block. Uh, Came out of the piece of wood because I'm splitting on a chopping block. If it hit concrete and did that, or if it just sunk in a little bit and came out, but that doesn't worry me too much because I can just, you know, maybe bend that back or grind it down. So stay tuned, you guys, because I plan on making another prototype where I take a ball end mill and I'll put slots like this in here. I'm thinking two of them. That way it'll reduce weight and friction. I might even taper this back towards the head for more strength. And it'll be, it'll be interesting to try out that new prototype. So stay tuned for that. If you found this video uh, educational or entertaining, feel free to like and subscribe. God bless and see you on the next one.